Hi right, guys, so we just uh, washed the car and honestly it didn't come out any better than it was before. It's still in terrible condition. The paint is awful. Uh, when you put your hand on it, it sounds like sandpaper. So uh, we're gonna have to clay bar the car. We're gonna clay bar the entire thing. Uh, I did do a small section and it actually um, seemed like it's gonna come out a lot better. So I'm excited to say that, but uh, it's gonna take some time. Uh, fortunately, I got my dad here to help me. So super thanks to him for helping me out here. But uh, yeah, let's get on to clay bar in the car. I am not sure what is on this paint, but it is ridiculous. Look at how nasty this clay is. That's after going over it like a couple of times. This is absolutely disgusting. I'm really not sure what's on this, but I'm glad we're getting it off. Okay, so take a listen to this. Oh, this just sounds terrible. There are so many contaminants in this paint. It is ridiculous. <laughs> So we just finished clay barring the entire car. It took forever. Uh, these bottom parts down here were the worst. You can still see there's a little bit of dirt left, but we're about to go over the whole car, give it a wash, get rid of some of these uh, marks here. Not really worried about the swirls at the moment because we'll take those out in a little while, but just kind of showing you what it looks like before we get to washing it. Let's go. So just gave it a wash after clay barring and it looks so much better. Obviously this is a little bit uh, misconceiving because there it's wet. So it looks really good now. It looks like the rear bumper we're going to have to do a little bit more work on. Didn't come off. It was quite as easy on the rear bumper but you know even as it's starting to dry you can really tell a difference in the paint being smooth and not completely full of contaminants and that was probably the worst I've ever seen. It seems like the car was either driven on a clay road or I'm not really sure what it was. When we put the Iron X on there, it actually turned purple. So maybe there was a little bit of rust in it. I don't know. Either way, it uh, came off for the most part. We're gonna have to redo the, the rear here. You can kind of tell a difference between the paint here and what it looks like up here. This one's got, looks like it's kind of primer or something, but we'll go back over that really quick. Everywhere else though is looking real shiny, looking good, drying off real nice. So. Once we patch up the rear there, we're going to um, do some paint correction. And with the paint correction, we'll get all these swirl marks out. Uh, it's not completely dry yet, but you guys can see there's a lot of swirls in the paint. And uh, I wanna make this thing look brand new. So, you know, it's what helps sell the car. Honestly, the, the better looking it is, the better it looks. So the better looking it is, the better it sells. There we go. So also after that, we'll get to cleaning the wheels. I'm gonna take them off the car. So that way we can actually give them their one-on-one -on -one special attention. This one's going to be the worst. It's got so much rust on it, but, you know, it'll work. Uh, I'm going to go dry this thing off really quick, and then I'm going to start, probably start doing some of the panels that um, we've already gone over with the clay bar. So let's get to work. Okay, guys, so we're going to get to the paint correction stage here. You can see in the reflection of the light that there's a ton of swirl marks. 
uh, the paint has a lot of etching in it. So we're gonna see if we can get some of that out. We're gonna be using um, something I got at SEMA a few years ago. It's a Griot's Garage or Griot's Garage uh, DA. We'll be starting with a yellow pad first, which is a cutting pad. We'll move on to an orange and then probably finish up with a polishing pad. Uh, I'm using uh, Sonex Cut Max and then we switch to the 40, or sorry, 0406. Uh, then we'll go over it with some this car power lock. This is a polymer and a sealant. And then we'll finally finalize with some wax. So good dude. let's get going. So we've gotten half of the hood done here, and I just want to show you guys a quick difference. So in the left half it is done, on the right half it is not. So as we go over here, you can see where those huge swirl marks come in. A lot of that was created by us clay barring the car. Had a little trash in it, but you can see there's a major difference between this side and that side. So that's the first pass on the hood. Looks a lot better. Still have a few more to do. Looks like there's some also some wax to the left right here. So I need to get that off the microfiber, but you can tell a huge major improvement from where we were before. It's like glass now. It's like we're looking at the ceiling. Hello. Alright, so now I've done half the hood in the uh, 0406, and you know, it's looking pretty good, honestly. The right side has not been done yet, the left side has, and you can see a little bit of difference here. There's a, little, a couple places where I've missed with the microfiber, so ignore those, but this one's kind of taking the smaller scratches out. Um, you can get really close to the light here and see. Still some etching in the paint. Honestly, there's not going to be much I can do about that. That's from bugs and road debris. You know, with 200,000 miles on it, what can you expect? Um, you know, is what it is, but we're gonna finish this side up with some Jeskar Power Lock after we do the right side in the 0406, and then we'll um, let that sit. We need to let that sit for a while until we put some wax on it. So I'll have an update after that one, and then we're gonna do the entire car, and you guys get to watch it in fast speed while I get to do it real slow. All right, stage three is complete. So this is what the final hood will look like. And guys, I'm impressed. I mean, this stuff always impresses me every time. Honestly, I'm not a professional by any means, but doing this is super easy. I've had a lot of fun doing it. I've done it with multiple cars. You know, there's still a few places that I couldn't get out that are just too, uh, you know, aggressive, too much in the paint. I'm sure a professional could get them out. All I'm looking to do is make this thing look better than it did before so I can sell it. But yeah, I mean, you can see it's super clear. I mean, you can see, hi. I can't wait to show you guys in the sun. The sun will make it even look pop. Oh, the sun will make it pop even harder. So, you know, I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Let's uh, get to the rest of the car. 
we'll start on this side, see if we can get done. It takes a long time, guys. This is, you know, I'm already probably an hour or so into it, and we've got plenty more to go. So really excited to show you guys the final product, but until then, let's get going. Before the sun went down, I wanted to get this out to you guys. I mean, look at them, how amazing this looks. It looks so much better. This is the only side I finished. I haven't finished the front bumper either, but this is the side I finished. You can uh, see how reflective it is. I mean, honestly, it tur turned out really well. Remember how gross it was when we touched it and it sounded like sandpaper? Listen to it now. You can't hear anything. The paint is in much better shape than I was really hoping, or sorry, much better shape than I thought it was gonna turn out to be. I hoped it would be in very good shape. But um, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. This is um, this is what it's all about, guys. You know, the hard work that goes into this. I mean, I've been doing this for two, three, three hours now. It's taken a long time to get this far, but you know, the end results are worth it. And this is what really helps sell vehicles. I mean, a, a car that looks good, will always do much better than a car that looks pretty poor. So anyway, we'll get back to this. I'll probably start doing this outside now that the sun's going down and it won't bake the paint. But, um, you know, you can you can see all the way around. It's looking really good. So there's still a few areas I couldn't get out. Um, here's one of them right here. It looks like there's some etched uh, paint due to the, I guess, the bird droppings that probably didn't get cleared off of it. There's only a couple places like that. Uh, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but the hood turned out really well. So anyway, like I said, overall, I'm really impressed with it. We'll uh, get this thing finished up and that'll be the exterior portion. So, man, I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's killing me here. <laughs> All right, give you a little update on the front bumper. I am not going to continue going further with this front bumper than just the first stage because there's some significant damage here as we showed you guys in the first video. The paint's cracked. There's tons of little eyelets everywhere where it rocks. So this looks like this bumper's been painted before. I mean, it's everywhere. So I'm not sure if we're gonna exactly paint this one or not. I'm gonna get a quote on it, see what it would cost. I can't paint. Uh, I've tried it a couple times. I may try it again in the future. Uh, I don't know. Really hesitant to do it again. It was a lot of work the last time and it did not turn out well. So, you know, it's just one of those things where I've kind of accepted that I can't do it. But, you know, I don't know. I'm not a quitter, so I might try it again. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think I should do. You know, this is, this bumper needs to be replaced, really. I, I saw there were a black, there was a black bumper on Craigslist. I might see how much that is, but I don't know. Like I said, you guys tell me what you think I should do, but I'm definitely not going to go forward with uh, trying to paint correct this because there's just no hope for it. So let's move on to the passenger side and uh, get that side done.
All right, guys, so it's been a couple days since we've uh, done the sides and the front of the Jeep. Still looking very good. It's rained a few times, but still looking good. We need to put a coat of wax on that, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Um, but as I mentioned, we didn't do the back bumper. So you can see the back, the whole back, really, the trunk and the bumper are in pretty rough shape. You can see that nice haze. So I um, actually ran out of clay. That was part of the reason why, but we're back with the chemical guys. Medium duty clay here. And uh, we're gonna get this thing clay barred and we'll uh, work on doing the paint correction. And then I'm gonna apply a final coat of wax to it. Not sure I'm actually gonna be able to get it done today. We've got a little bit of a holiday party to go to, but um, hopefully we can get it done here shortly. Also mention, I didn't mention, I got it registered finally. So we are completely legal to drive this thing on the road. It's uh, super exciting. So anyway, let's get to it. Right, guys so i have laid the product down a little bit uh just at a really low speed but i want to show you guys how much of a difference paint correction can make on this this is a rear bumper scrape it doesn't look like too much got into the paint it looks like there's a little bit that red part right there it looks like this might have been a red bumper before so i'm sure it was wrecked in the rear uh, and you can tell by the panel gap up here it's pretty not great anyway we will try to fix this really quick with some paint correction it'll look better it won't look perfect but let's see what we can make it happen All right, so you guys can see how much of a difference that truly made. Uh, I had to go over it a couple of times uh, just to get it a little bit more clean, but you know, really there's a couple of deep scratches. There's one right here. You can still see the red, like I mentioned. And there's a couple other deep ones down there, but you know, like I mentioned, this is just to make it easier to sell. Won't look so bad in the pictures now. So maybe it won't even be noticeable from five feet away. Like, I can't even sell from right here where I'm standing. So anyway, let's give you guys a walk around of what we've done. Okay, so starting with the front end, we still have a little bit of work to do. We have to fix that front bumper. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, just because I want to keep the integrity of this video, and it's really to flip this vehicle. So a lot of front bumpers with this much mileage, it's kind of expected to have like, a bunch of rock chips and dings in it, etc. But I don't know. I'm still debating on whether we fix it or not, because the damage on the passenger side is a little bit rough. But, you know, going around, the paint looks amazing. This is after I've driven it. It's rained. You can see... You know, here there's some there's some wet marks to prove that I've actually been driving it. But the paint overall looks incredible. I couldn't have asked for it to come out any better. It looks a million times better than what it did before. You know, really impressed with the way it came out. There's still a few areas here and there that, you know, may need some attention. But overall, I'm not complaining. For a 200,000 mile car, I think this will make somebody really happy with the exterior. And it's in much better shape now that we've kind of protected it. And, you know, it just looks better. All right, guys, and that'll be a wrap on the exterior. And let me tell you, I'm exhausted. Uh, that took over a day and a half to do and completely film, but I'm really happy with the results, as I mentioned. Uh, the exterior turned out way better than I could have asked for. Uh, and I'm really hopeful that uh, the, the buyer will see that work that we put into it. Uh, and it may make it stand out a little bit from the other vehicles. So um, on this one, you know, like I said, it took a long time, but the rewards were totally worth it. Um, so really happy with the way it turned out uh, and then next moving forward we've got to work on these wheels the wheels are terrible uh, it's really taking away from the exterior presence of the vehicle and I really want to you know clean them up enough to where they'll look a lot better than they were before 
Um, so it's something I've never done before. I'm really excited about the challenge. So I'm really looking forward to showing you that you guys that content. But if you like this video, please subscribe, share it with your friends. I know there are plenty of people out there curious about paint correction and curious about making the vehicle exterior look better to sell it. So that's ultimately what we're going to do here. Uh, this vehicle is going to look and, and feel great to whoever drives it. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to get is someone a really nice car. Um, even though it's high mileage, I think that the vehicle is actually in really good shape. I've been driving it around quite a while now. Uh, it's super reliable, have no issues with it. So now the exterior is done, we'll jump onto the wheels. Once we get the wheels done, we'll do the interior and then we'll be finished with this thing and we'll get it gone. So like I said, hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll catch you on the next one.